Did you hear that? It sounded like it came from the furnace. The furnace door is sealed tight. Why would my amulet lead us here? Open the door. Your Emperor commands it. The same voice from my memory. Emperor Morica. <laughs> to my satisfaction. I learned what I needed to, and you eliminated the threat of incarnates laying waste to Fargrave and the mortal world. And with Sister Seldina and Valkanaz Nokvaz gone, none remain to build new cataclysts. You have served me well, and I have a certain fondness for you, mortal. But do not presume that we are friends. Dramora have no <laughs> need of such things. And I will not share my secrets with you. They are mine, and mine alone. Let us talk of other things. It would have been difficult even before you chose to break the Twisted Rod. Without the relic, the endeavor seems doomed to failure. I doubt it would be worth my effort to even try. Gratitude is foreign to our natures. I understand the concept only because I know more about mortals than most of my kind. Bargains, though. Should I acquire the means to restore Aerox, he would pay any price for my aid. Hmm. I shall consider that. The Anchorite has demonstrated the ability to survive whatever hardships come her way. She will sort out her memories and come to terms with her parentage, eventually. And she should be safe here in Fargrave. The Stricture will see to that. Um, uh, there's a little bit of a että jos se on yksi neljästä ambitiosta, jotka Mehrunes Deikonin voimasta tehtiin, niin nyt Mehrunes Deikon myöskin muistaa, että tällainen tyyppi on olemassa. Kolme, yksi on kuollut, kaksi on kateissa. Tämä on neljäs ja nyt se periaatteessa tietää, missä se on. Tämä ei ole hirveän hyvä juttu. But thanks to your efforts at ardent hope, she remains out of Dagon's hands. You have served both me and your world well. Take this, with my gratitude. We stopped the Waking Flame's threat to Blackwood and saved Fargrave from the Incarnates. But many questions remain unanswered. Mehrunes Dagon is still a threat to your world, mortal, and there are things I still wish to learn. Will you aid me again? I want to resume our search for the fourth ambition. No need. And we should track down the other ambitions, Sombrin and Kalia. They need to rejoin us before Mayrun's Dagon's lackeys find them. I also want to know why Dagon is interested in the Anchorite. Niin, koska se on, se on neljäs am ambitio. <laughs> Todennäköisesti. We st I want to resume our search for the... I sent for your wood elf friend. Ah, Eveli tulee paikalle. Yes. I asked her to comb through the Longhouse Emperor's documents to look for more clues as to the fourth ambition's hiding place. She should arrive shortly. Let us meet her in the Plaza of Portals. The window of opportunity closes quickly, mortal. Both for what I still wish to learn and for you to save your world. Mayrun's Dagon has been thwarted twice. But that will only make him more dangerous next time. Let us go meet up with the Wood Elf. Do you seek praise? You have done as I asked and been compensated. That is the mortal custom, is it not? You want more? Very well. Oh, get it out there, Lizzie. We unraveled the Longhouse Emperor's secrets in Blackwood, where we discovered three of the four ambitions. Yes, but Destron was killed during the battle with the Order of the Waking Flame's High Priest. Still, we kept Sombrin and Kalia out of Mehrun's Dagon's hands. Now they wander the Deadlands with the Mysterium Xarxes, learning to control their powers. Ne pystynyt kontrolloimaan itte voimia siis Tamrielissa. So you do remember. Yes, in that Oblivion Realm, we learned about the Cataclysts and the process for creating Incarnates before you destroyed the devices. And we met the Anchorite, heir to the Longhouse bloodline. 
Dagon seemed very interested in her. Minäpä hyppään tänne puolelle. No, but perhaps one of my contacts in Fargrave has heard whispers of powerful mortals hiding in the Deadlands. We will turn our attention to locating the ambitions after we talk to Evely and see what she has learned. My curiosity is not yet sated. There are still things I wish to know about Mayrun's Dagon's plans and the creation of the ambitions. Miksi? Since our goals align, why not continue to work together? You and the Wood Elf uncovered many documents in the Imperial Vaults. We barely had time to examine them before other tasks drew our attention. Maybe they will reveal the location or the identity of the fourth ambition. One can only hope. Mistähän tulee seuraava isku sitten? Crack Dacons, this place is amazing. Hey friend, good to see you. This place is incredible. Investigator Vale never went to oblivion in any of her stories. <laughs> So I wasn't sure what to expect. I was nervous when Lyrant said I had to use a portal to get here, but this is great. And you're here now, so it's even better. Investigator Vale novellit on tämmöstä Agatha Christie tyyppisiä mysteeri novelleja, niin missä missä tää Vale Vale tosiaan niin kuin seikkailee tar niin kuin seikkailee ympäri Tamrielia. A lot of crazy talk about conquest, Mayrun's Dagon, and staining the world with the blood of their enemies, but nothing more about the ambitions. Ugh, it's so frustrating. I definitively could tell that Emperor Leovic had certain records destroyed. Yeah, sorry. I know he was counting on me to come up with some clue to follow. I thought I had a lead about one of their holdings, but I hit a dead end. It seems like the Longhouse Emperors took all the information with them to their graves. On ihan tarkoituksella. Mostly helping out around Leowin, and I did a couple of small tasks for Governor Keshu, rounding up a few stray cultists, that sort of thing. Otherwise, it's been pretty quiet. Until Lirinth contacted me, that is. She sent one of her creepy followers to bring me messages. That Rogatina woman. Letters mostly. But Lirinth did stop by to give me final instructions on how to get to Fargrave. I got to use a portal key. That was exciting. She gave me the highlights. Weird cataclyst devices, Sister Seldina, that evil Nockbras guy. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help. I can't wait to meet the Anchorite though. I always thought about getting a mask. Like the Green Hood or the Scarlet Judge. The Scarlet Judge me autettiin, autettiin Morrowindissa itseasiassa. The Longhouse documents were no help, and I still haven't heard any word from my contacts. Our next chance can be found at the House of Whims. The House of Whims? That sounds intriguing. Kannattaako me käydä päästää Bosmeria sinne? It's time to explore the Anchorite's memories. Ah. Don was particularly interested in you at Ardent Hope. We must examine your memories. So you're the anchorite, huh? Neat mask. Thanks. I like your bow too. <laughs> Let us begin. Mortal, use the memory vessel to capture fragments of the anchorite's recollections as the ritual progresses. I know I agreed to take part in this ritual, but now I'm not so sure. Since my memories all came flooding back to me, I haven't been able to make sense of a fraction of them. I'm not sure what Madame Wim will find, or if it will actually help. No, not at all. I just doubt we're going to turn up anything useful. I got 20 years of memories restored in a few seconds. It may take more than a single ritual to sift through them all. Besides, there may not be any that can actually help us. 
Maybe. So far, though, I've had no luck making sense of all the memories. They still feel like they belong to somebody else. Tietyllä tavalla ne varmaan kuuluuk. Hey, have you noticed that Lyrinth is more serious than usual? A little more scary? Probably nothing, right? Yeah. Strange doesn't even begin to cover how I felt when he addressed me directly at Ardent Hope. Well, go ahead and grab the memory vessel and let's get this started. Who knows? Maybe we'll get some answers after all. Use the vessel to collect the memory fragments when they appear. I will use the Anchorite's amulet as a focus. Is this supposed to hurt? There, a memory fragment. Take it. She is my blood. The legacy of the Longhouse Embers flows through her veins. Keep going. We are close. Another memory fragment. Take it before it disperses. You are a tool, nothing more. Fulfill your purpose, or you will be discarded. Mukava Peri. No, please make it stop. You're hurting her. Stop. Stop this now. Foolish mortals, you try my patience. The Wood Elf had no right to stop the ritual. It was not her decision to make. Without any other lead, the Anchorite's memories were our best chance to determine Mayrune Stagon's plans. Now we have nothing. You seek to quell my anger by suggesting we may still salvage something from this debacle. Very well. Show the memory vessel to Madam Wim. Let her tell us what it contains before I take my leave. We have no clue as to how to find the last ambition. The ritual was halted before it could fully sort the Anchorite's memories. Only one other avenue remains open. Sombrin and Kalia. The likelihood that I can locate them is slim, but I must try. Do I seem tense? Well, you and Evely seem oddly calm for creatures whose very plane of existence is under threat. Do you enjoy it here in Fargrave? Shall this sand pit be your sanctuary once Mayrune's Dagon conquers your world? Go. Deal with Wim. I think I'm going to be sick. Everything is spinning. Images. Snatches of memory. But it all happened too fast. Like a leaf caught in a river during a storm. Everything was rushing by. It was so violent. Ask Madam Wim if she can make any sense out of what you captured in the memory vessel. The Anchorite's memories are too scattered, unfocused. She has not yet come to grips with the fact that these newly restored memories belong to her. Let me see the memory vessel. Perhaps we were able to gather something useful after all. Ah, this is a very early memory. The Anchorite has a babe, hearing her father's voice. I can use this. Yes, another early memory. But this time her father's voice is cold, commanding. These fragments vibrate with emotional veracity, a signature of sorts. I can use that to scry the location of the Longhouse Emperor, or, more accurately, his soul. Me tiedetään missä Leovik on, mut missä Morikar on? If you find the Emperor, you can talk to him. Get the information you need directly from Morikar himself. I sense he is imprisoned in the Deadlands. Ah, in the Grand Fire Take the Anchorite's amulet. It will lead you to the Emperor's soul. As I understand it, the amulet was a gift from father to daughter. Its connection to Morikar is strong. Use it in the reformatory and it will lead you to him. However, what state his soul will be in after decades of torture, I do not know. It's my amulet and my memories, so I'm going with you. Yeah. Very well. Take the anchorite and explore this memory. See where it leads. Meanwhile, I will begin the hunt for Sombren and Kalia. You shouldn't go alone, Lirin. I'll join you. 
How distrustful, Emily. Fine. Mortal, we will find you when we have word. I'll meet you at the Grand Fire Reformatory. I want to see this memory or lost soul or whatever it is when we find it. See ya. No. Don't just stand there, Scampwood. Hide! Get down! Don't let those entrail suckers take you too! You really don't know anything about where you are, do you? That's the Brandfire Reformatory. Nothing good happens there. The Order of the Waking Flame Cult takes people inside and they don't leave again. It makes this one's fur stand on end. No. This one just saw the cultist force her sister Pibiha inside. If Tufe could fight, those kinkursed cultists would be hanging above a lava flow by their ears. Tufe cannot help Pibiha now. Oh, would you look for her? Tufe can pay. Pibiha's harebrained adventures have gotten her into trouble in the past, but being kidnapped to the Brandfire Reformatory? If Pibiha is unharmed, this one may just maim her herself. Please. Word of this place came to Fargrave, our home, from the mouth of Fargrave, isn't that? Yeah, They geez. say it's a maze where those the Waking Flame finds unworthy are left to rot. Pibiha used to laugh about that. Because this one's sister, despite her lack of self-preservation, is a fairly logical person. She said that no cult or Daedra would let their prisoners be wasted like that. They'd be sacrificed at the very least. Now the cult has Pibiha. No, none of the merchants know what happens inside. Anyone taken inside isn't seen again. All Tufe knows is that the prisoners disappear inside the reformatory, and she only sees cultists leave. Joo, eli periaatteessa ne varmaan tekee siellä uusia ampitioita. You've been wandering out here and you haven't run into them yet? They're everywhere! The Waking Flame is Merun's newest mortal cult. They appeared in Fargrave a short while ago and already have a surprising amount of members. That is something Tufe does not know. But since they follow Merun's, this one is sure that Whatever those sand-eating beetle feeders are up to, it will bring pain and suffering to the rest of us. It might be a trick of the heat, but Tufe thinks she sees the faces of prisoners on the cultists to walk out. If this one's eyesight is true, then what goes on in the reformatory makes her feel like beetles are crawling through her fur. Pibiha tries everything at least once, especially if she knows it's a bad idea. <laughs> that like when Merun's cult gained power in Fargrave, Pibiha was curious about them. She went to one of the cult's meetings with a friend niin se and never came home. Others call him Merun's Dagon. Khajiit know him as Merun's the Kitten. He is not feared by many Khajiit. This one is beginning to wonder if that is a mistake. Do you think this one didn't ask her the same thing when Pibiha told her where she was going? Pibiha scoffed, said that she didn't have anything to fear or gain from Merun's. Then she called the fire cat a kitten and laughed. She laughed. Because this one followed her, she hoped to convince her flame fried sister not to do anything stupid. But the cult moved quickly. Pibiha was shoved through a portal out of Fargrave, and there wasn't time to think. Tufe had to jump through too. I don't think this is what the Longhouse Emperors expected when they made their bargain with Mayrun's Dagon. Yeah, we'd like to be a bonus at the Mercedes. Some sort of forge. I wonder if it still works. Me down. 
Oblivionissa kahvia. Kiukashi. Tekee sotakoneita täällä. Leovik. What? Did you hear that? It sounded like it came from the furnace. The furnace door is sealed tight. Why would my amulet lead us here? Open the door. Your emperor commands it. The same voice from my memory. Emperor Morica. There's a discharge labrum there. We need to find and charge some lucens. Oh, cool. I think we can open the furnace door by using lucens. I want to see what's inside. See if that voice really belongs to Emperor Morica. It certainly sounded like the voice from my memory. Let's find some lucens and figure out how this works. You need to find some lucens, preferably charged ones. Otherwise, you need a dynamis font to charge them. In this case, I think it will ignite. The door opens. Hmm. All I see is a chunk of slag. There's no doubt about it. The voice came out of that chunk of slag. And it sounds just like Emperor Morica's voice from my memory. He wants us to free him. Do you think we should? You've seen this place. It's all about torture. I think they fused the souls of the Emperors into that chunk of metal. Kiwa. Seems like a fitting punishment for anyone who incurred Mayrun's Dagon's wrath. But we need to free them to talk to them. We need to ignite the furnace to melt the slag. I spotted two more discharge labrums. If we take that charge loosened and stick it in one, that might get us halfway there. The furnace ignited. Good job. Released at last. Who must we thank for our freedom? Then I'm Kaiki. Kaiki, you have a stupid. I still taste the blood of my enemies, those I crushed beneath. That that perusti ningun valta simperi. This is an insult. I am a conqueror, a god in my own right. My teeth have shred the flesh of hundreds, thousands. I demand the respect I deserve. Who are you? <laughs> Has the mortal world already forgotten the name of Durkarach, the Black Drake? First of the Longhouse Emperors. The blood was mine. Mine! The blood of the Reach sings with fury in my veins. How dare me, Runes Dagon, betray my legacy? Lies. You have the tongue of a liar, and I will rip it from your mouth. I will not be swayed by your words. I won't let you betray me. The power promised by the pact is mine by right. You cannot have it. Away with you! Tietysti ihan mielenkiintoista, että tällä historiallisen henkilöllä pääsee puhumaan. Tämäkin on merkkoinen virtsapää. Tämä aiheutti kapina. No, simply a respite from the darkness. I remember the traitors at my gates, the blade of the usurper slicing through my flesh. But I hid them away. I did my best to fulfill the bargain. Then, then, then the room is left to it. Yeah, Sepa Kuolee, and that Imperial City. No, it's the, no, it's the Viemärist. I'm not telling how many players to sit in it. This was a case that was like Kolmas, Kolmas Vaihtot. I am Leovik, last of the Longhouse Emperors. But who are you? The stink of the traitorous Varen about you. That snake. I knew he was coming. I knew I had to take action. Preserve the plan. Keep the secret. Salvage the contingency. It started with my grandfather. But it was my father who passed the responsibility to me. 
It was all part of the bargain the Black Drake made with Mehrun's Dagon. We would prepare the four ambitions, and in return, our family would rule forever. I took action. I moved the ambitions to new vaults. Safe vaults. But before I could do more, the usurper murdered me. And how did Mehrun's Dagon reward me? By locking me away in a block of metal. Kaveri yritti legalisoida Daitra-palvonnan imperiumissa. No mitä, mitä kuvittelee, että tapahtuu? Kapina tietysti. An eternity of agony. This was not what the Prince of Destruction promised. I did everything the Black Drake commanded. Everything the High Priest instructed. And I gave precise orders to my son. So why the torture? And why is the weapon here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Daughter, you mean the weapon. Why have you brought her here? You cannot let her fall into the hands of Merun's Dagon. He reneged on his promise to us. No I see no reason to keep our part of the bargain now. You did not know? The girl is one of the four ambitions of Merun's Mira Dagon. But she's not like the other three. Oh, oh, oh. I made a few modifications of my own to the High Priest's ritual. She is not just an ambition. She is my contingency. Uh, the Emperor never relies on a single strategy. We were promised power if we delivered the ambitions at the appointed time. But Daedric Princes are not to be trusted. So I prepared Mairead as a weapon that could deal with Dagon, should the need arise. My daughter, the fourth ambition. She's the key. Along with the other ambitions, she can call forth the power to banish Merun's ha, ha, ha. That was my contingency. In case the Prince of Destruction lied, and we needed to send him back to the Deadlands. The Anchor? Is that what you call her? <sighs> Use her. Her and the ambitions. Bring my vengeance to the Prince who betrayed us. Go to the Isle of Joys, a retreat not far from here. All the details are there. Ah, someone calls. My ambitions. I'm an ambition? One of those people Lyrant was talking about? How is that possible? We are not property or playthings, Morkar. Sombran, no! You that, are that what we bike. created you to be. <laughs> I wanted a weapon to taste my power. Uh -huh. Oh, Sombrin. Why? Tell me about it, but I, I didn't think Sombrin was going to do something so dramatic. You have to forgive him. He's been very intense lately. The kagista chillei nästä niinku vedessä pelissä. I'm not sure how else to describe it. When we first arrived in the Deadlands, he insisted he could help me control my powers. That I could practice without fear of hurting anyone. But lately he's been different. Almost desperate. He spends most of his time reading that strange book, searching desperately for answers. Mystery he's obsessed with our power, <laughs> trying so hard to understand it. But the more frustrated he gets, the more he pulls away. And now, this. I'm working. You must remember, the book Evely gave him, Lyranth called it the Mysterium Xarxis. He's become obsessed with it. He's sure the answer to controlling our powers hides somewhere among its pages, and he pours over them at every opportunity. Not in the same way. I don't think he's having dreams or anything. Sombrin's <laughs> always been <laughs> Since Destron died, his rage has been growing, and the frustration and desperation makes that rage harder sharper and what i've tried but he wants to protect me he doesn't want to burden me with the weight he's carrying i think he needs to work this out for himself i just hope he can do that soon before he lets that rage and frustration destroy him i almost decided not to accompany lyrith but now i'm glad she insisted how else would i have gotten the opportunity to punish the longhouse emperors for what they did to us Finding the last ambition? That's just a welcome surprise. 
I have no interest in more of their lies. And neither should you. I gave the Longhouse Emperors exactly what they wanted. My power. Besides, they'll reform in this place eventually. I just couldn't allow them to corrupt the last ambition. Those men were evil when they were alive. Do you think an existence of torture in the Deadlands would change that? The last ambition needs to learn from Kylia and me. I sense that same power inside her that courses through us. We belong together. A fantasy. We can't hope to stand against the of destruction. Look, I've learned a lot since last we spoke. Too much to explain and too little that you would understand. It's time for the ambitions to take our destiny in our own hands. I am not all right with what just happened. Lyrinth and I managed to find Sombrin and Kalia. We convinced them to come with us. But I had no idea he was going to explode those poor ghosts. Did I hear correctly? The Anchorite is the last ambition? That's just... Did you have any idea? Well, I guess that makes it easy enough. Now we know where all the ambitions are. Did you learn anything else before Sombrin blasted them into non-existence? Wait a moment, I know that name. Remember Lyrinth had me comb through the Longhouse Emperor's documents? That name was listed as one of their hunting retreats. But I couldn't find any other information. Hopefully be That's why the map didn't make sense. It wasn't a map of Tamriel. It's the Deadlands. All right, my friend. Let's go see what we can find at the Isle of Joys. Mayrune's Dagon could move against us at any moment. Sure. Let me know when you're ready to go. Tota. <köhön> Tuossa on puoli veli, se ei yleensä räjäyttele kummituksia. That man, Sombrin, he seems familiar. But why did he destroy the Empress? There was so much more I wanted to ask, especially of Morika. I... I can't quite bring myself to call him father. But what Morika said... Is it true? Am I an ambition? Maybe. But familiar or not, they're still strangers. We came here for answers. And while I learned something, it feels like all I got was more questions. Right. Morika said the answers were waiting at the Isle of Joys. I have no idea where that might be. Look, your friend Everly wants to talk to you. And I need a moment to think this through. But don't worry. I'm with you to the end. I promise. Oh. So, the Anchorite is the fourth ambition. Interesting. However, my tolerance for mortal emotions has reached its limit. <laughs> Who knows what I could have learned had I been allowed to question the Emperors? <laughs> At least we have the surviving ambitions. No, niin, no oli juttu tuulella ainakin, että... Saattanut kertoa jotain tärkeää. Hope we find something interesting today. Joka päivä. Are you ready to go? You're one of us, Anchorite. An ambition. Do you know what that means? I don't know a lot of things, it seems. I can answer your questions. Come with us to a place meant only for ambitions. I'll show you. Kalia no. one. We need to stay together. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Lirinth. I need to do this. <laughs> Face Palama. Damn it. That was a mistake that may cost us dearly. Mortals. Always so unpredictable. But as annoying as that is, perhaps that's what keeps me so interested. No, and I you and Emily head to the Isle of Joys. See what you can find there. I will follow the Anchorite. I want to keep an eye on Sombrin. No, and his erratic behavior worries me. Mm. Mortal minds were not meant to read the Mysterium Zarxes. I'm wary about him separating the Anchorite from us as well. We're going to need her once you determine the nature of this contingency plan. My reaction is irrelevant. The Anchorite recently had her memories returned to her and has yet to make sense of them all. 
Now she discovers she's also an ambition of Mayrun's Dagon, and a tool of a father she didn't know. I understand her motivations. All right. Have you not realized after all this time that I have my ways, little mortal? I found Sombran and Kalia once. I can do so again. In the meantime, you and oh. Ellie should search the Isle of Joys. We must discover this plan that Emperor Morikar spoke of. If I were the Anchorite, I'd want answers too. I still have a bad feeling about this, though. Something about Sombrin was off. I don't remember him being so close to Joo, siis siellä oli kaikista, kaikista tota no chillein siellä, että et, niin, toi on selkeästi niin epä, epätyypillistä käytä, käyttäytymistä sille. Noin. As much as I want to, no. Someone has to investigate the Isle of Joys. We should stick together and take care of that. Ehkä. The Anchorite, though. She'll be all right, right? Joo, eiköhän se pärjää. Mut siis, töön tietysti, että... No, puoli jumalia ei välttämättä tarvitse kannata ruveta salakuuntelemaan. Good to hear. I barely know her, so I wasn't sure. Besides, Kelly is with them. She'll keep Sombrin from doing anything too crazy, I'm sure. We just have to trust that the Anchorite knows what she's doing. Everything will be fine. Now let's go! Everything will be fine. Haha. Isle of choice. So on Dagonin tuntien varmasti todella. Sanotaan nyt ehkä sarkastinen niin kuin, ilmaus. Did you find Thibiha? What is she? Is she all right? Sorry. Not what that means. Oh, my foolish sister, always so proud. Here's your reward, stranger. You brought as much of Pibiha back to me as you could. Even with the pain they bring, Tufe is glad to have these words. It is not a surprise, but the shock of her death still hurts. My stupid, foolish sister. She just had to go to that meeting. Tufe should go back to Fagrev as soon as she can. She didn't tell her family where she was going when Pibiha disappeared. They must be so worried. This one came to the burn through the plaza of portals in Fagrev. With luck, she'll find the portal here still open when she retraces her steps. It's no use solving a problem that may not exist, so... This one won't worry just yet. Pibiha never gave in to sorrow, and neither will Tufe. Don't worry, just because Tufe is cautious doesn't mean that this one has not had her own adventures. She'll manage. Vaarallisempia metsätykohteita, mutta mikä ettei. Ainakin haastetta. Me and the Longhouse Emperors had a very different idea of joy. Come on, let's search those ruins. En voi kyllä olla eri mieltä. Blackboard is so. Ego Nimic? 
Blackwoodissa on voltti, missä toi on. Mitäs muuta? Tuolla on jotain. Pari pelaajaa ja... Looks a lot like. All right, this was a productive trip. At least Emperor Morikawa's ghost didn't lie about leaving stuff here. Let's review what we found. Yeah, I noticed that straight away. Maybe they were part of a set, and this one was Emperor Morikawa's. And look, it has some weird runes etched into the surface. It might be important. Hold on to it. What about that journal? Let me see. The ego nimic is some sort of name. It says it has the power to banish Mayrun's Dagon. That's huge. But whatever we need to access it isn't here. It's in the Anchorite's vault. I still can't believe she's an ambition. What about that map? Didn't we explore all the vaults in Blackwood? <laughs> Wait a moment. I did read about one other vault. Doom Vault Vulpanaz. It was cracked open and ransacked during Varen's revolution. Yeah. So I assumed any ambition inside it was long gone. Really? You explored another vault without <laughs> me? You're trying to make me look bad. What did you find? Tell me there was something there that connects to all this. Did you get to search it all? Hmm. I guess if you'd found the key to a weapon that could banish Mayrun's Dagon in there, you would have told us about it. Well, we can't give up now. This is still worth looking into. Maybe this mark indicates a hidden portion of the vault that you didn't spot last time. We have to at least try. I'll meet you there. Tätä löydettiin itse ja mirri. Juurikin tän paikan vuota. you from the Isle of Joys, right? Let's go to the location it's best. You brought the map of the vault? Tuolla, eli ulkona. Tää ulkona ja ulkona. Tähän puoliksi Deadlandsissa. Look, those runes are similar to the ones on the ring. There must be a connection. I knew that ring was important. All right, I guess we enter and.
Sondheim's diary. I guess he and Callie spent some time here. Did he write down anything that can help us? So Sondheim and Callie came here at some point, after they left us and went to the Deadlands? I wonder what they were looking for. So, anything good in Sombrin's diary? Hmm. He's not on the same level as the writer of the Investigator Vale stories, but his writing isn't bad. Interesting. Does he know about the Ego Nimic? It doesn't seem like it. He just says he thinks something important is inside that chest. Hey, now, positive thoughts. Let's examine the chest. Maybe the ring will help. It got us into this hidden chamber. Who knows what else it can do? This enchantment looks powerful. Hey, there's an indentation on the lock. That's... unusual. I have absolutely no idea what that is. <laughs> Mortals, we have a problem. Dollars. That fool ambition. He will ruin everything. You both need to come with me. Sombrin has turned to Mehrun's Dagon, and he plans to take Kalia and the Anchorite with him. We must stop him. How clear must I make it, little mortal? He has Kalia and the Anchorite, and is attempting to force them to go with him. He plans to present them all to the Prince of Destruction. We must get to an Ilark summit and stop him. When I left to retrieve you, Sombrin was attempting to wrestle power from each of the other ambitions and take it for himself. He will turn that power over to Mehrun's Dagon unless we intervene. Quickly, through the portal. There is no time to waste. Portals! I think I'm finally getting used to them. Let's go. He'll be there yet now. Over here, mortal. Sombrin took Kalia and the Anchorite through that door. Ambi ambitions end by Gandhi. This is insane. We're not coming with you. Okay, so Dotta. This is not your concern. Only Mayrun's Dagon can teach us. Help us control our powers. It's all in his book. I can't let you interfere. Destron, deal with them! Sovereign, what have you done? Not down the Tapetan Cavalry. I must obey. You will not come forth. Let my memory destroy you. You let me die. I will summon a portal to take us to Fargrave. Oops. I didn't know I could do that. Open a portal out of thin air. I just couldn't let Sombrin keep hurting Kalia. Well, I guess that proves it. I really am an ambition. Whatever that is. Y yllätys teleportaus. I... I'm not sure. I just... shoved him. Somewhere. Away. Come on. Let's get out of this place. Liren's portal looks extremely inviting right about now. and the 
Arkwright will be safe here. Come, little mortal. Let's talk. I did not expect Sombran to turn against us. Or for him to try to take the power of the remaining ambitions. He now possesses the power of Destron and Kalia as well as his own. Okay, it's supposed to have that power to Dagon. Neither of us will like the results. Ha. Huh. I am still considering our options. At least we have the Anchorite, and she still has her powers. That is enough for now. You did well, mortal. Against all odds, you continue to prevail. Take this with my gratitude and prepare for what comes next. Now that we can confer in the relative safety of Madame Wynne's establishment, tell me what you discovered on the Isle of Joys. Did the spirit of Emperor Morikar speak true? Is there a weapon that can be used against Mayrun's Dagon? Let me see the documents you found. I am familiar with Nimix, but not this evil it lies, yeah. If it truly has Tosi the power to banish Mayrun's Dagon, then no wonder the Longhouse Emperors kept it hidden. And what did you find in the Doom? Sothasil uh, karakotti Dagonin niin kuin, uh, chrononymikillä. Interesting. And you found this in the vault? The one Morikar claimed belonged to his daughter? Then show it to the Anchorite. Perhaps she can remember something and ascertain its purpose. We will need some advantage the next time we face Sombrin. Our best hope lies in the Anchorite now. Show her the Daedric relic you recovered from her vault. Let her study it and extract its secrets. Perhaps some of her memories will become clear when she examines it. Simply put, a Nimic is a Daedra's true name. Some of us have many, others only one. If another knows these secret names, they can wield great power and influence over the Daedra they belong to. Mortals use them in their incantations to compel us. As we have discussed at length, friendship is an alien concept to my kind. I cannot comment on why mortals do the things they do, and I see little point in spending time agonizing over what could have been. Our time is better spent devising a plan. Let us solve one problem at a time, mortal. The relic first, then Sombran. He has studied the Mysterium Xarxes and gained the power of two of the three remaining ambitions. He will make his way to Mayrun's Dagon side as soon as he is able. Between his research and the knowledge Sombran already had to help Kalia control her power, he apparently figured out a way. Remember, he saw Vandacia absorb Destron's power. He may have extrapolated, or he found something in that cursed book. As a guess, it might be a stronger, more potent version of a Nimic. If we gain access to it, we might be able to weaken Mayrun's Dagon. Perhaps even banish him to the darkest corner of the Deadlands, as the Longhouse Emperors intimated. It's just one thing after another, isn't it? I've barely had time to process the fact that I'm an ambition, or even learn what that really means. I'm sorry I couldn't stop Sombrin from taking Kalia's powers. It all happened so fast. I had a vault? Yes. I remember something about a place where they put me when I was being trained by Sister Seldina. Let me see. Hmm. It does feel familiar. Like trying to remember a dream upon waking. Am I supposed to do something with this? And I better remember what it is and how to use it, right? Put the relic on the table over there. Let me get a better look at it. Maybe something will come to me. I hope the Anchorite knows what to do with that strange relic. You found it in that chest in the vault, right? Sombrin was so enraged that he couldn't access it. But he never told me why. Hmm. I it to Mehrun's Dagon provided parts of himself to create the four ambitions. Yeah. These parts make up his egonymic and give the ambitions their power. Ah. The egonymic can be used to weaken Dagon, to compel him back to oblivion should the need to do so arise. 
All four parts of the Egonimic must be used to even attempt uh, this course. Oops, middle bang. We will only Maks use it as a last resort. I... I know this. A low and constant hum at the back of my mind. A part of me, but also a part of something else. I think that's how we recognized each other, Sombran and me. Now so, that I know what to call it, I can feel the Egonimic within me. It's been a part of me for my entire life, but I just accepted it without ever knowing what it was. I'm not sure what we can do with only my piece of it, though. Oh no. Without my power, I no longer possess my piece of the Egonimic. Is that why I feel so... empty? That means Sombrin has two parts of the Egonimic now. He might even have Destrons. Is that how he summoned his spirit to fight you? So, the relic was some sort of memory stone? Was that a message for the Anchorite, or Morikar's heir? Wait a moment! She is Morikar's heir! Hey, if the Ego Nimic gives the Ambitions their power, we only have one of them now! Sombrin took Kalia's! Kiitos tiedosta. Tiedän tämän oikein hyvin. As I surmised, the ego nimic is a more powerful version of a nimic. Perhaps only the princes have them, since I never heard of them before. Sombran has two, perhaps even three of the four. We cannot allow him to return that power to Merun's Dagon. Sombran was able to take Kalia's power. His summoning of Destron's spirit at the summit suggests he also has Destron somehow, as well as his own. We need to do what he did and steal that power from him for ourselves. Oh, not me, little mortal. The Anchorite. She's the fourth ambition. If Sombran truly seeks Dagon, then he's heading for the prince's capital, Destruction Solace. We need someone who can lead us through that fortress so we can intercept him. Who else but Aerox the Mutilator? The Daedrat was once Merun's Dagon's Toy most me. powerful general. He must have visited the city multiple times over the centuries. Aerox crawled off toward the shambles when I told him I had no time to remove his curse. And while you track down Aerox, I will gather what allies I can. We will need more than those of us here to breach the walls of Solace and take on Sombran. Meet me at Wretched Spire. Dagon's gaze never reaches that corner of the Deadlands. Hmm, melkoinen tukikohta.